And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Malphite Leona, our next deck here with the Guardians of the Ancient brand new expansion. Uh, this one's going to be a deck built around the Daybreak cards, and it's pretty straightforward. We're going to have a lot of three ofs here. We're going to really just be like a, a curve out deck for the most part. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so let's see what we got. Okay, so the Daybreak cards before, like before this new expansion... Like they were, they're pretty good at playing defense and just playing to the board, right? Like you have like a, a one mana card that can be a three three whenever you play it with the daybreak. You have the the two mana card that was the three six. Your Solari Priestess is always good with the um, invoke. Your Leona is a, a three five. You know, we even had the Sunforger. You know, like these are all like pretty good sized bodies. Now they don't like none of these things have keywords on them, and so like just so they're all just kind of vanilla units and so like attacking through and getting all the the damage through and ending the game wasn't always the easiest but you know you just had like pretty decent um vanilla units um, on the curves they're really good at playing defense and so you'd usually pair leona with like aurelian soul or something like that like that you know something that's really powerful effect to be able to end the game with but now daybreak cards have even more stun and i think that's going to even though we don't necessarily have keywords i think stun is going to be the real important thing here with the daybreaks because the stun we get to stun blockers and be able to attack through and win and have you know be able to get a lot of nexus damage in that way i think that's going to kind of be our keyword um that's not really on our units but that's gonna be our keyword that helps um help us win the games even though like sure we can play to the board and have good good size units on the board but how do we get through and actually get the damage in Stun's going to be the way to do that. And let's see how that is. So now we have Solari Sunhawk, a new two drop that has Daybreak Stun, the strongest enemy. Of course, Leona, whenever it levels up, whenever you play a Daybreak, you're going to be stunning the strongest enemy. And it's going to be very easy to level up Leona now with even just more Daybreak cards. We also have, because then we also have this new Daybreak landmark, Eye of the Rahoric, that has the countdown one. You stun the two weakest enemies, but then you want to play it on Daybreak, because Daybreak, you get to summon an additional landmark and have countdown with countdown two so you you know get to stun two weakest enemies two rounds in a row with that um, so that's going to be a, a big part of our deck for sure and then i'm honestly playing two morning lights in here um and this is a card that you know you wouldn't usually necessarily play in the uh um in the Targon decks like before, but I think there's just so many Daybreak cards now. We, we're really hitting that critical mass of Daybreak cards where I think this can be a really powerful effect, not only just the plus two, plus two, but then getting all of the Daybreak effects for all of your, your units. You know, like if you have a Robin in play, you know, then you get to create another Daybreak and it replaces itself. Or maybe you Priestess, so you get to invoke again. But then it's all about the stuns. Right, so like if you have Leona in play with Morning Light, as you've probably seen before from using it as a champion spell, you get to stun multiple things. But if you have that Leona in play with the Morning Light and stunning multiple things, you maybe have a Solari Sunhawk or two, and then you're stunning multiple things that way. And so you could honestly like maybe stun like their whole board. Like you could stun three, four things with the Morning Light and with the plus two, plus two. That feels like a really powerful effect to finish out games. All right, then finally, of course, we have our new champion, uh, Malphite, that we're going to have with this Daybreak package. This is going to be our big top end thing instead of Aurelian Soul. Um, we're going to play Malphite because, you know, it only costs seven instead of ten. Now we need to summon 12 plus mana worth of landmarks for Malphite. And so really the way to do that, to level up Malphite, is going to be this Eye of the Rahoric. Because whenever you play this and then it's with Daybreak and you summon an additional one, that's going to be ten mana worth of landmarks that you summon. And so that's going to make that's going to have Malphite ten out of twelve immediately. So that's so basically we need this card in order to level up our Malphite. But all we need is one of those, and then after that we could play either a second one or we could play Grand Plaza. And Grand Plaza, of course, gives our uh, units that keyword Challenger, which also um, helps control the board and everything. So really, we just need one Grand Plaza, one either a Horic, then our Malphite's leveled up, and then whenever we have the leveled up Malphite, uh, when we have the attack token. Uh, round start create this unstoppable force this is going to be our other way to have all, all of our daybreak units uh, be able to get through and win the game stun all enemies two mana real powerful so that's going to be our other top end 
Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and, and give this a try. Maybe not all, like, you know, I don't have like a ton of like interaction spells and stuff. We got two hushed, three single combat, three sharp sight. As we kind of play this this deck out, maybe we'll find that we need some more of those. And you know, maybe not all these cards that are three ofs need to be three ofs moving forward in the future. You know, maybe like one Zoe and two Malphite is a better way to go instead of the third Malphite. But with this being a brand new champion, we want to play... Um, we want to kind of max out on them and really, you know, see what it's like, you know, see is three too much and everything like that. And, sh you know, should it be less or anything like that? So uh, let's give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. Okay, so we're playing against Lissandra with Sharima. This is interesting. What is this going to be all about? So we'll Mulligan Malphite and... I don't know about you, Robin. I kind of want to keep Robin because it makes all the other Daybreak cards even better. Robin seems like a really key card. Let's let's go and keep it. Oh yeah, so probably a Frozen Thrall deck with the new countdown cards of, um, you know, having the yeah having the the reduction in the countdown. Um, Stun should be pretty good. If we can get to stun, stun should be pretty good against that. Clad in shining sunlight. Devotion to button. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure how the eyes work with the morning light. Does the landmark count as an ally? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work. Yeah, it says activate all daybreak effect of allies, and I don't think I don't think the landmarks count as allies. I really I really don't. So they're probably thinking I have Leona that once they get the 8/8 then I play Leona and stun it. Oh no, or they just have that thing. chant. Where are our stuns? That's a lot of damage. Let's take this written in stars. Hopefully find Leona with that. Malphite. Malphite's gonna be big. I'm gonna save my spell mana. Malphite gonna be big. A 9-12 tough challenger. See, that still seems pretty good. Like, Grand Plaza Malphite seems pretty good. So this Entomb should count as five, like, doesn't the Entomb help me level up my Malphite? My, my Malphite? I'm not sure why they didn't just go with the, with the Flash Freeze here, whenever I challenge. But won't that be five mana? Oh, it, it costs zero? Lame. Witness glory. That should be five, and that should help me level up my Malphite. So of course this is going to come back into this is going to be summoned again um, during the round that we have the attack token. So it will get the challenger again. It's going to get the grand plaza buff again. Yeah, 
It's just just Lissandra. So they're they're just like a, a frozen thrall countdown deck. My spirit shines. I wonder if I should go morning light. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Four cards in hand. Not sure if this is going to backfire or not. We'll kind of see. We'll see what's up. Yeah, my opponent had one on turn... They just had one on turn five that... Eight, eight. Ooh, double ice shard. All right, not bad, not bad. So that killed... You know, that kills all of those things. So we will uh, still kill them. Yeah, so they're still dead. Okay. See, look at that. Morning light underrated. We would not have had lethal without that morning light. All right, we got Elise and Zillion. I'm gonna keep this hand. Hand looks pretty good. Got one, two, three, and a five. Ooh, that's the other card. So now we're gonna have level up Malphite. We got the, the combo for our landmarks, our landmark combo. Whoa, that's a cool... That's cool. Hadn't seen that before. First time. I'll just pass. Okay, so yeah, they want... So they want their Zillion to die so they can play another one and make more time bombs. No mercy for heretics. Go hard. Okay. That's fine. That's all fine with me. Bask in her radiant blessing. I can see grabbing the deal four, deal one. Like, if we are able to kill this Zillion, then the deal four, deal one. We'll be able to kill a second zillion. Mm, we found Malphite either way. Come closer. I don't fight. Hush now. Believe or burn. You dare. That's pretty nice having double Preservarium for that card draw to find more go hards and time bombs. So could have done Shield Bear plus Sunhawk plus Written in Stars. Yeah, so like a card like Hapless Aristocrat normally would be really difficult for us to beat, so that's why we need yeah, that's why we need like Leona and the stun effects and Solari Sunhawk and stuff like that. Uh there you go. So we take two. That's how that goes. So we round star create this unstoppable force every single round. Our sun will 
will not set today. Man, they draw lots of cards. Not find Leona. My faith protects me. All right, I'm gonna have them waste all their mana. Get even back up with mana and everything. They had nine mana. That Merciless Hunter is so good. Just always so good. So if I want to keep Robin alive, I got to use the Morning Light right now. Go keep everything alive. Yeah, it's, it's possible this is the best non-champion in the in the new expansion, just in general. Like that, this could be the very best card. Because like a Sunhawk just stun the strongest enemy doesn't work. They have the two four mana one, so I guess I'm using this. We do create another, it does replace itself, we create another Daybreak card, maybe we create Morning Light again. Okay, it does work with Eye of the Rahoric. You do create, like we would have created two more of these landmarks if we had room. So Eye of the, Eye of the Rahoric does count as a, an ally, as a Daybreak ally, interesting. Glad to not see... Let's play this first. They know about that card. I... <clears throat> um... Ah, Vengeance. Stop running. That egg... Right, you don't have Challenger. Devotion to battle. You're the one with Challenger. <laughs> anyway, as I was gonna say, I was glad not to see Ruination. That, that's what I didn't finish my sentence before. attack. So the Raiden Stars probably draws the Leona this time, but without the Robin, the Leona is not going to be as powerful. I am no 
Malphite. All right, Malphite, help me out. Stop. Stop with the vengeance. The enemies of day will fall. Oh, they played three of those? I thought they'd only played two. I walked into that. I thought they still needed to play another one. Should have gone the other way around. Should have played the soldier first. A lot of things to keep track of with my opponent's deck, you know, like when you're trying to keep track of the time bombs and Zillion, you know, Z Zillion seeing two time bombs and stuff like that, but then also the Gohards. Devotion to battle. Robin's a great draw. Okay, so we're gonna have we're gonna try for a third time with Malphite. I hope they don't have a third vengeance. I am very strong with the mountain because I am a mountain. Man, I really hope they don't have another one of those. They did draw all three of their Preservariums, which is really nice. Okay, so that, that thing still gets stunned when it comes in. But yeah, they'll have their two two cards they draw. Alright. <clears throat> no pack your bags. it from the glimpse beyond because all I need was them just to play a unit and then you know then I go Leona and stun that unit like that was my plan and then you know we attack with all that stuff maybe they have nothing in hand nothing but time bombs no they had a blocker see that's I just need them to play that blocker first then I Leona stun it with still having that other card in hand. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Man, it was close. The sky's dark. Okay, Lulu Zed. So we're gonna be uh, definitely thinking about syncopation here, right? Like new expansion coming out. Syncopation seems like what my opponent's gonna be doing. I think this all looks good. Lulu Zed does sound like a deck that we want Tosh against. I'm expecting one of the champions to be played. Alright, we take some damage. Oh, 
And they'd play a champion and I'd have the 3 6 as a good blocker. Who does not know the name Laurent? The strength of the sun and my faith are one. My shield is yours. Okay, back to 19. Still got a couple of combat spells for an open attack. Obviously, I wish we had one more mana. It could also just be a sharp sight deck. I wish I didn't play that hush with having the Zed right there. Yeah, you know, with them. You know, if I. Yeah, like, I, I. Like, if I lose this game, it's because of that play. It's because of me. Um. Making that attack and then playing the hush. Like, if I just save that three spell mana for that hush. I think I'm in a better spot. Warriors of the Raharaka, time is now! We'll follow you to the end of daybreak. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Channel our power! Feel the sizzle! Yeah, so I lost this game whenever I played that hush. Run them through! Because otherwise, I would have been, you know, I would have been able to be very good against Zed. No one goes hungry! Into the light. Yep. Well, I guess I'm not dead. I guess we're not dead yet. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Hmm. Her light is our sword, her warmth our armor. A little like I was kind of thinking maybe deny. You know, like they, I would have been that surprised they would have denied that. Just how they haven't been playing other things. So game's not over yet. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Back up to eight. Head to the face. You call this a fight? Aha! Can't fight on an empty stomach. Back, unbeliever. Okay, not dead yet. Wow, that's gonna do it. So just the stun stun open attack was gonna work. Wow. Ooh, playing some aggro, playing against Elise. Should be a good matchup for us. You know, like we have really good blockers. Hopefully, we can find the lifesteal blocker also. 
So maybe Grand Plaza can go as we just look for more blockers. Sharp Sight, of course, is just too good to, to mulligan. I know I said that we had good blockers. <laughs> Maybe not. This Eye of the Rohork and this Lari Priestess. Those, are, <laughs> those aren't necessarily looking the best. Those aren't uh, the best cards that we got. Alright, there we go. Sunforger is a good card, though. Okay, I decided yes, I am too greedy. Actually, now they got that in, don't let them open attack for six. Some kind of a blocker. We will not suffer unbelief. They will not escape corners. The guilty was bad. I will not take damage. Meteor Shower is a good one, especially looking at that Legion Sepultura over there. Meteor Shower and anything else. It doesn't really seem like I need to play a Meteor Shower right now. But I don't know. So, like, if they go Frenzied Skitter, then that's kind of a problem. It's still just my best play. Ugh! Onlooker! Should have waited. I'm pretty scared of Noxion Fervor, of like me play Sunforger, they go Noxion Fervor. Kind of scared of that. Witness glory. Gotta attack for zero when you can. So they didn't play the Ephemeral Doom Beast because it's Ephemeral. Life, you are so difficult. Actually, no, you're not that difficult. Okay. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Her light will always rise. All right, so this will give the 5-4 lifesteal back. I'm confident they don't have Noxion Fervor from the last couple of turns. Unless they just drew Noxion Fervor. Please don't have just drawn Noxion Fervor. That was not the card they just drew, I don't think. Fervor we lose, no Fervor we win. They just drew Fervor! Oh, the card that won him. Wow, that was the... That was... Oh, man. Wow. Okay, we got Sharima and Freljord. So, big bodies. Again, we could probably use some stuns. Let's hopefully find Leona this time. I needed that single combat to go along with my stun card. Or my lifesteal card. I needed that single combat before. We haven't had Leona in any game. Any game, right? We're 0 for 5 of like having Leona by turn 4. 
We did draw a Leona one time, like in the, the really long control matchup. You know, we drew it like on you know turn 12 or whatever. Come on, Leona. This land is ours. I'll take that trade. They won't. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Yeah, that card's broken. Renekton, I found something special for you. Why is that card so big? It's, it's special enough. Why is this thing a 3 mana 4 3 with a keyword with an amazing ability? It's better than a lot of 3 mana champions. That's right. Run! Leona! It's probably too greedy playing the priestess on three instead of the shield bearer. Mmm. Man, that's killer. Really wanted that Robin for Leona plus shield bearer. But. We ever need that Leona, that's for sure. But I kinda need that Robin too. The power of the immortal sun. Behold the sun's holy light. So next turn is gonna be turn seven. What are we gonna want mana wise? We wanna play Okay. So either way I can play I can play Soldier plus Falling Comet or Morning Light. Then Soldier. Probably have to go Falling Comet. So I could play this thing. This thing's very tough. Very big. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Glorious light rains down. Keep that open attack from coming. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Punish transgressions. Please play something first. Come on, play a card. No, play a card. Them to play a card. So we're losing like these matchups that I don't necessarily think are like that bad for us, but just you know didn't go our way. Opponents having better hands than us and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, I was I was kind of expecting Battle Fury to kill us. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's what I was kind of expecting. This just uses my mana so much better, but I can't go Leona and Morning Light next turn, so maybe. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. Maybe I should have played Leona.
Why is nothing over there stunned? Can we stun something? Or at least take out the... What's gonna... Are we gonna take out the spell shield, or are we stunning that? I want to know for this... For, you know, like, playing this also. What are we doing over there? Okay, we haven't we haven't summoned a landmark yet this game. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that's doing. It's okay, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, neither am I. I don't understand what's supposed to happen here. Is this I don't get it. That's the second time we've tried to play Morning Light and our opponent had double Ice Shard. Oh, it puts the skill in the middle. Oh, that's what it did. Okay, because my camera's right there where that skill was, so it maybe was showing that that skill was going to be there in the middle, but I was I was really confused because I couldn't see that. Well, that was, that was very good for my opponent. Obviously, getting rid of all those good attackers that I was about to have. So, I guess I... Yeah, I, I can't attack with that 4-3. I guess I just have to simply attack here. Alright, so I, I wasted that. I shouldn't have wasted the, the fast spell. I thought, yeah, that obviously the double eye shards and everything really punished me. Because right, I would love to have that fast spell stun right now for the open attack. The dawn has arrived. Behold the sun's holy light. We didn't open attack. So we're not dead yet. Could be dead. The winter's claw. Well, that probably means we're dead. Wrap him up tight. So assuming it's Battle Fury. This should keep us alive. Blocking like that. Like that's that's the best blocks I can do against Battle Fury, at least. Go down to one. They could have killed me the turn before, but I guess they, they must have just drawn the Battle Fury. I think they just drew it off of that Preservarium. They had Battle Fury the turn before, they could have killed me. Surprisingly, we won. <laughs> yeah, Leona is awesome. That was that was definitely what we needed, right? We had Leona's that game. Leona was definitely necessary, and we needed that that last game. Um, yeah, the Landmark's been pretty good. I've been like, this eye of the Rohorik's been was pretty decent. Um, the morning lights were pretty decent too. Um, did feel like we could, you know, have just like a like maybe one or two more combat spells. You know, that was something that I was thinking that maybe we needed. I don't know, maybe not. I, I don't think we had like the best luck in in some of those last like those last two games. I think this deck is really really good on defense and really good against decks that are trying to attack. Even though you know we you know, barely won that last game and lost the the one before that. But I think those last two matchups were probably pretty decent matchups. All right, but that, that's Malphite Leona. Pretty cool looking deck. Um, obviously, you know, like we were playing kind of three ofs of everything. But even Malphite. Malphite looked great at just being so big and tough. You know, like seven mana is not difficult to play, right? Like it's not hard to play a seven drop. And then you're looking, like even, even when you don't even worry about the level up, then you're looking at 10 health with tough. You just can't get through that, right? So like that even looked great with the Malphite. You know, our one opponent had two Vengeance take down the two Malphites whenever, you know, and then they also had to top deck the, um, they played the Glimpse Beyond and had to draw a Pack Your Bags to kill us, and they were able to do that, but, um, yeah, Malphite looked great. Alright, so yeah, I think this deck looked, overall, looked really good. 
Um, this was one that I think that, you know, one card here, one card there, right? Like my opponent had to top deck um, the... So like our first loss, you know, they had to draw Packer Bags for us to lose, and they did. And then the second loss, they had to draw an auction forever for us to lose, and they did. So that's how we lost our two games. <laughs> you know, like two draws different, right? They don't draw those two cards. This could have been a 5-0. and um, But you need a little luck there to go 5-0, and that's for sure. But I, th I, th I think the, the Daybreak stuff did feel very strong. This definitely felt like a, a real deck for sure. All right, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know what you think of this version of Malphite. This Malphite looked good and the deck looked good as well. Um, so yeah, let me know how y'all liked this deck. Um, and of course, let me know what other uh, combinations you want to see with these new champions. We got our three new champions. What kind of combinations do you want to see with them up on stream and for YouTube? Y'all let me know. Give me that feedback. But that's going to be it here for Malphite Leona. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.